I had a billion dollars once, I bought a dragon, and then planet exploded. Might have been a dream. Some people in the world though really do own billions of dollars, and today we're talking about some of them who have pretty much lost all of it, kind of. If we have any future billionaires watching this video, please pay attention and learn from their mistakes. My name is Danny Burke, and this is the top 10 billionaires who lost everything. Starting off at number 10 now, we have Sean Quinn. In 2008, he was known as Ireland's richest man with a net worth of six billion dollars. He invested 2.8 billion dollars of that into the Anglo-Irish bank who were investing in Irish construction companies. Then the country's property bubble burst. The bank suffered huge losses and so did Quinn as a consequence of that. The government nationalized the bank to save it, wiping away all of Quinn's investments. Then they seized ownership of Quinn's companies and forced him off the board of directors, leaving his family with less than $15,000 spread across three different bank accounts. Next up at number 9 now we have Naroatsu Baba. This Japanese businessman founded Colopal in 2008, known for making some of the earliest mobile games in the country. The rise of phone gaming sent the companies soaring to new heights, and by 2016, Baba had a net worth of $1.2 billion. Then, their flagship games of White Cat Tennis and White Cat Project started to lag in sales. Company shares fell 38%, wiping over half a billion dollars off Baba's net worth. Next up at number 8 now, we have Ike Batista. In 2012, he was the richest man in Brazil and seventh richest person on the planet, with an estimated net worth of $35 billion. He amassed his fortune through Brazil's natural resources, mainly mining, oil and gas. Disaster struck though when one of his oil fields proved to have a lot less oil in it than originally thought. His investors lost confidence, the company couldn't keep up on its debt repayments, and by 2013 they filed for bankruptcy. In the space of just a year, his $35 billion worth was significantly smaller. Alright, next up at number 7 now, we have your golfer Gudmundsson. He was the second person from Iceland to be ever worth over a billion dollars. The first was actually his son. He owned a bank and West Ham United football club. Everything looked great for him. And then in 2008, the banking crisis hit and it hit Iceland very hard. He was named as one of the key figures for the collapse of the country's banking system. At the same time, he was also paying tens of millions in legal fees to defend himself during a whole bookmaking scandal. He filed for personal bankruptcy in 2009, owing $750 million. That's thought to be the world's biggest recorded personal bankruptcy. Moving on to number 6 now, we have Manoj Bhargava. Now you may not have heard of this Indian business mogul, but you probably have heard of the product he's responsible for, 5 hour energy. It's an energy drink that gives you energy for 5 hours, surprisingly, who would have thought? Things were going well for him. The product was taking off around the world, especially among students who were using it to study without losing their focus. However, in 2012, the FDA named the drink as having possibly contributed to 13 deaths over the space of 4 years. As the investigation went on, sales of the drink stalled and Manoj's net worth plummeted to 800 million, taking him out of the list of billionaires. Next up at number 5 now, we have Masayoshi Son. This is the Japanese businessman who founded SoftBank, one of the country's largest telecom companies. The company grew quickly in the early days of the internet, sending his personal worth to almost $80 billion. That was all until the internet bubble burst in 2000. Shares of the company lost 98% of their value almost overnight, and with that, Son lost more than $70 billion of his own personal worth. Coming at number 4 now, we have Vijay Malia. This Indian business owner inherited his father's liquor company in 1983 and went on to amass millions and millions and millions by buying and starting up other companies. Smart. He even owned an airline at one point. He spent two decades amassing a large conglomerate, sending his personal worth soaring to an estimated $1.5 billion. However, his airline ended up collapsing. He racked up huge debts and he also overspent a lot in his personal life. The police began investigating him after reports of financial irregularities within his company. He was forced out of his company with a $75 million payoff. It's unknown how much more than that he has now, but experts say he's definitely not a billionaire. Anymore. Next up at number 3 now we have Vince McMahon. You guys may know him as one of the owners of the WWE or from this famous gif. Yeah, that one. He had worked his way up over the years to a net worth of $1.6 billion in March 2014. Soon after that, he launched the WWE Network. Unfortunately, it did not do as well as his investors had hoped for, and he signed a TV deal for much lower than anticipated. In two days, his worth dropped by $700 million. I mean, he's still very rich, but you know, we're not talking about some change that he dropped on the floor. That's a lot of money. Alright, next up at number 2 now, we have Hong Yao Lit. This Chinese businessman was valued at $1.3 billion in 2016. How did he make all that money? Bras and underwear. 
you heard me. Hong owns Regina Miracle International, who supplied bras and underwear to the likes of Victoria's Secret and Calvin Klein. This was going well until Victoria's Secret started slowing their orders down. Regina Miracle International then lost 45% of their share value in the space of just a year, wiping over $550 million off Mr. Lit's personal worth. And finally, at number one now, we have Femi Otidola. This Nigerian businessman owns a 79% stake in Fort Oil, a huge oil company over there in Nigeria. They gave bonus shares to all their holders in 2014, but put them all on the market at the same time. This mass sell off of shares caused a huge drop in the shares value of about 83%. At the same time, Nigeria's currency took a 37% drop in value against the American dollar. All of this meant that by 2017, his net worth had dropped from $1.8 billion to $275 million. Well, there you go 10 stories which you can use to avoid losing all of your billions of dollars. I noticed that none of those stories stories that involve giving me a few million. Huh, it's funny that. Just saying, won't hurt. My name is Danny Burke. Thank you as always for watching guys and I will see you all in the next video. <laughs>